Yeah. It's Chaz's lock picking here. And it's stock lock Sunday, and I've got an American Series 1305 for y'all today. Uh, I picked these up last week from eBay. I got a pair of them, keyed the same. And uh, there's bidding. Decent, but not the best. And uh, I put them in the lock hospital for uh, for a little bit. Clean, get the insides cleaned up and uh, operating good again. But uh, these are my first uh, first 1305 series that I've I've ever picked on. So, uh, I'm gonna give this a go for y'all today for Stock Lock Sunday. I'm gonna use the top of the keyway, 50,000 pro bar. And, uh, these Americans, I like to use my, uh, sliver picks from sparrows uh, normally the high reach because uh, keyways so tall and uh, what I did is uh, to stiffen up that handle I just cut some windshield wiper inserts and uh, stuck them on the handle and slid some um, shrink shrink tubing over it and uh, now I got a good solid handle that won't bend at all. And that was thank to, thanks to Dark Arts lock picking. I picked up that little trick. Thank you. So light tension straight to the straight to the back. Click on five. Nothing really out of four yet. Three. Slight little click out of three. Two. Click on two. Nothing on one. Okay, four. Was a click on uh, three. That was just warding. Click on two. Hmm. Feel like I overset them.
Alright, this is four. One click. Three, another click. Two, a click. Five is solid. Four feels springy. Three also feels springy. Two. A little click on two. And throw your pick or your tension wrench. All right, let's start over. Click on five. Click on four. Another click on four. Another click on four. Three is all right. There we go. There's a click on three. This is two. Hmm. That was definitely an overset. Click on four. Click on one. And there was the open. That was number two that was holding me up. So, it still feels a little mushy in there. Uh, probably would have had it open a little quicker, but uh, it's just not quite cleaned out enough. I didn't spend, and maybe this is the one. 
I don't I cleaned one of these really well and the other one I did not this may be the one I did not clean that well so there is your open let's uh, zoom this back out and uh, I'll get this opened up for y'all we can be quick about it This sucker back up. Yeah, this one's still a little sticky. I could feel some stickiness on it, like uh, like the residue of sticker leaves. Like when you peel a sticker off, that's what it feels like. Yeah, this is the one I didn't clean quite as well. Hopefully we won't have to fight these getting them out. Pin, uh, key pin one is serrated. Number two is serrated. Three is sta standard. four is serrated and five is serrated all standard in the core nothing there uh, where's my there. back up Let's take a look upstairs. Serrated in one. Serrated in two. Serrated in three. Same in four. And again in five, so all serrated. I tell you what, I have not been finding hardly any spools in the Americans I've been purchasing here lately. Serrated. Everything is serrated. No spools whatsoever here lately for me. Not in the Americans I got. Anyways, it is what it is. And it did not have a bypass wafer. And here are your driver pins and key pins. Get some focus. There we go. Alrighty. And uh, appreciate y'all stopping by. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, hit the, hit the like button. And uh, if you'd like to see more of what I'm doing, definitely hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate it. And uh, just a quick reminder, uh, one week until the 100 subscriber giveaway that I'm doing is over uh, and just another quick look at the prize and uh, next Sunday will be the deadline so everybody get your videos in and uh, so I can get you on the list and uh, 
y'all have a good week ahead. I appreciate it. Have a good one.